Tonight, the Alumni Center at USF hosted the Health Dean's Lecture Series. As part of the medical internet revolution, it brought together founders from the websites Wikipedia and eMedicine. The minds behind these groundbreaking websites shared their keys to success and their views of the electronic future for the healthcare industry. Changes in technology is a topic of interest for those who showed up to the discussion. And who wouldn't be excited to meet the founder of Wikipedia? Um, well, I'm here to uh, do a little panel discussion and uh, talk about uh, medical information and the internet. But some USF med students showed up to prepare themselves for the changing environment of their future careers. People, patients are already doing it right now. They're looking up their symptoms on the internet, coming into the doctors, coming into the clinics. Um, I think it's going to be a very big part of our future, and I think it's important that um, you know prepare for this kind of situation where patients come in knowing a lot of information about their symptoms, and like us being able to handle that situation. And uh, how many people here have used Wikipedia? <laughs> Having 408 million people visit last month alone, Whale said his site has become part of the infrastructure of the world. Among its 17 million articles, people can find just about anything they are looking for. In 1962, Charles Van Doren said the encyclopedia should be radical. It should stop being said. Charles Van Doren was later a senior editor at Britannica. And if you know anything about the history of Britannica since 1962, it's been anything but radical. Still a very safe, old-fashioned, very high-quality uh, encyclopedia project. Wikipedia, on the other hand, began with this very radical idea, which is for us all to imagine a world in which every single person on the planet is given free access to the sum of all human knowledge. The speaker said that people crave a connection to the sum of human knowledge. I need your cooperation here very quickly. We'll do a little test. Uh, so stand up right now. Stand up if you want a free computer for life. So stand up really quickly, really quickly. Okay, there's two rules. You can sit down now. So most people want this. But it will be the best one, and I'll buy you a new one every year. But there's a little asterisk, and that is it won't be connected to anyone. According to Allscript CEO Glenn Tolman, a smarter, more informed community will shape the future of healthcare. So what we think of as connectivity is creating a new kind of community. And that creates collective intelligence. And the definition of collective intelligence is taking innovation and the rate of change and matching that up with the interaction between individuals. And when you do that, you get really smart communities. And that's what we see as the future of healthcare. The panel discussion gave audience members a chance to ask questions and voice their concerns. Not everyone is in favor of the new paperless method. I tend to disagree with the criticism about the system that I have worked for for the last 10 years. I think it's a fantastic system. I think it does work great. I can be in Iraq and get the information about my patients. Regardless of how you feel about change, most people admit it is the only thing that stays the same. I think new ideas are always, you know, a great way and, um, you know, flexibility is, you know, the way to go because the world's always changing, so, you know, you have to be prepared for that. Reporting for the USF Oracle, this is Shana Johnson.